once over a third of the Indian subcontinent. In one state alone, Chhattisgarh, police have been powerless to stop a series of shifting and violent clashes between state forces and a strengthening band of Maoist rebels. This is not a force that comes from a defined area and hits a defined area. It's a force that abruptly uh, condenses in a particular area, executes an attack and then disperses. And that's the genius of the system. It makes it that much more difficult to predict, prevent uh, or even take effective action. The Naxals train intensively in guerrilla warfare and explosives in jungle hideouts. They say they're fighting for the rights of the majority of India's population. Taking up weapons, they argue, is the only way to get their message heard. Their movement started decades ago, and their support is growing in rural and tribal areas. While the government has been pouring most of its resources into high-profile conflicts like Kashmir, the Naxalites in recent years have graduated from poorly armed splinter groups to a well-organized army. I always believe that communalism is a great danger to the unity and integrity of our country. And I love the people. 